Victor Martinez Testimony of Deliverance from Alien and Journey to Heaven, I am Victor Martinez from the city of Cartagena, Spain, I will begin by telling the vision and revelations that God gave me, I grew up in a Christian home, I was a young man living a troubled life, I was in Aliens and Aliens movie and cartoon, these things got me out of the church at once, I did not want to congregate anymore, my parents wanted me to go back to church, but I did not want to, I was very discouraged, movies and drawings that seems harmless caused me to fall, and to become more and more interested in extraterrestrial stories, to believe that these monsters really existed, and I no longer believed the word of God, every day I got involved with ufology, I started to see demons, talk to them, I spent the night talking to these demons, I saw an apparition of a spaceship, but when I got close to what I believed to be UFO that object disappeared, I thought it was an illusion of my mind. But then a demon appeared to me and told me that what I saw was real, not the result of my imagination, the demon told me it was my responsibility to evolve more and more in alien philosophies, to deepen in this knowledge so that these apparitions would become stronger. At that time I studied in high school, I was always the boy despised by the school, no one liked me, they called me strange, I believe because of the light of God that was still in me, when I turned away from the Lord's way, I began to change my way of being in order to be accepted by the boys in school, I started to drink with them, I was accepted, I began to have recognition inside the school, my grades fell, I started to give problems to my parents, my teachers who once praised me, began to criticize me, but my parents began to intercede for my life, they never gave up praying for me, as a result my colleagues started to prove to me that they were not my real friends, I started to feel disappointed, they liked what I had to offer, I spent a lot of money in the evenings with the girls, one day I got tired of this life, nothing filled this great emptiness of my soul, my heart had a hole, which consumed everything that life could give a pleasure, but nothing was good. There was depression and search of happiness, later I got a job, but I ended up fighting inside that company, many tried to take me away, they did gossip, but God did not allow me to leave the firm, many who tried to harm me, lost their jobs because they would rise against my life, with a new job something strange started happening, my parents prayers were working, despite having jobs and the money to spend, my friends started to move away from me. I began to lose the popularity of the girls at school, the world began to reject me, I felt loneliness, I was tired of trying to be what I was not, the world rejected me because I was not of the world, I began to pray every day, then one day I felt an evil force in my room, I still had connections with books of extraterrestrials, I went to sleep and had a dream, in that dream I saw many lions flying around in the neighborhood over many houses. I observed that these lions had several heads, they were real freaks, I saw one of this lion entering a pastor's house and shattering his son, the angel who appeared in my dream said the demons are killing many Christian children because of diabolical films and cartoon, I saw when another lion came into the home of a family that was not yet converted and shattered the whole family, the angel told me that this family was vulnerable because it was not under the grace of God so they were vulnerable to the demons, I realized that my life was spared from these attacks by the prayer of my parents, then I saw when another lion trying to squeeze a house in the neighborhood, but he could not enter, I saw many lions stationed around that house, they lay down but they did not go in, the Bible say, be sober, watch your adversary, the devil, go about roaring like a lion and seeking whom he may devour. I said to the angel, why are these lions not entering into that house? The angel replied that this house had no property of the devil, there was nothing illegal in that house that could constitute a legality for them to enter, it was a Christian home and free of all kinds of sins and abominations, but those demonic beasts were so determined that they took position around this house in a relative distance, they could not enter the house but they were still motivated to cause destruction, they did not look like defeated, they were looking for a small opening, a legality to destroy that couple, these demon had hope this family will open a door for them to enter, they were patiently waiting around this Christian house, 
I looked at the sky and I saw giant vultures flying through the air and attacking several houses over the roofs. The angel of the Lord said that these are demons that work for the enemy, there are also deployed against this Christian family, but these demonic lions and vultures could not get in, the vultures kept flying around but they could not attack. The angel told me, the buzzards that are fly, when they see dead corpses they will go around, I did not understand the meaning of this, I asked the angel for explanation. He said that these demons are like vultures, they smell and come. I came to understand that when there are sins and abominations inside the homes of the believers demons will be attracted by the smell of sin, and they will enter in order to destroy. But I noticed that even vultures could not go inside this house because they had no legal ground, I was curious to know the mystery of that house, instantly my eyes were able to see inside that house, and I saw a couple of young Christians inside this house, I did not see anything there in that house that could attract demons. They had no legality to enter there and destroy that couple, I saw that this couple did not stop praying, I fixed my eyes on that humble house, there was no vanity, I saw flames of fire in that house, I saw that this little house was shining, its light was so strong that it stood out in the middle of several houses. The angel said, where there is fire wild animals pass away, if you sleep in the forest full of beasts, you will have to light the fire. Thus wild animal will never come near you for there is fire around, those who have a lifestyle of prayer, those who live on their knees praying to God, their homes have kindled the flame of fire of the Holy Spirit, their home are flames of fire, and demons will never come close, after that dream, I was in the church of my parents, I was very afraid of that dream, I entered the church feeling chills and weights throughout my body. That day a man of God at the end of the service placed his hands on my head and said, There is an evil spirit in your life and that spirit had to leave, when he lay his hands on my head I fell on the ground, he expelled the demon. He told me that the demon was the alien that appeared in my bedroom, upon arrival at home, I burned all the books of extraterrestrials, DVDs and other things. I remembered the dream about property of the devil and legality that evil spirits seek in Christian home. I had to break this legality of the demons, so I remove every alien and extraterrestrial object, after that day my life changed, God did not allow me to stay in the world, he made me see that his ways are better than the world, he made the world despise me so that I would return quicker to him and his ways, I had already finished high school, I saw my old school friends die of overdose, murdered and others died of accidents. I thought in me I could have been dead with them if I had not returned to God, I would have died and lose my soul, I consecrated a month to God, I began to pray every night in that month and my prayer ended at dawn, I was committed to pray every day for the whole month, one day I was doing prayers vigils, when suddenly I felt electricity taking over my body, I was on my knee when I ended up face to the ground, immediately I saw a man in white garment, his body shone radiant light. It was the same presence that I had felt in my body when I was praying, the man called me by my name, I felt like the worst of human beings when I came near him because of his glory, he told me, son, do not fear, come with me, I am Jesus Christ, the one you seek every day in prayer, I was speechless, I did not deserve such an honor to walk with Jesus, he did not rebuke me, he only comforted me, I felt peace before him, we ascended into the air. We arrived at a height in the sky that was dark, I saw stars shining in space, I was observing the universe, I cannot explain, the atmosphere was not the earth, the Lord said, son, look and pay attention, I looked and I saw legions of demons in the air, the Lord said, these demons make signs in the earth atmosphere and the space, they deceive you into believing in flying saucers and aliens, the Lord said. Genesis 1:27 My word says and God created the man in his image the image of God created him man and woman created them my father and I would never create such creatures to dishonor and desecrate our image my creation is perfect not these aberrations this horrible creation is of satan he disfigured himself from my image he corrupted my image in himself because of hatred towards god I looked and I realized that those demons turned into luminous objects, then came words in my mind, Luke 21, 11 and there shall be great earthquakes, and famines, 
and pestilences, and there shall be astonishing things and great signs of heaven, and the Lord said, These are the signs of the end of time, I was of this movement that believed in aliens a religion admired by these extraterrestrials, but people's deception is to believe that they really exist, aliens do not exist they are all demons, I am proof of this, because, I saw the demons that were aliens, Satan is lying, they want to make mankind believe that there are lives outside our planet, I saw devils that resemble aliens, the same ones we see in television, in drawings and movies, television depict these demons positively as alien, I was a fan of these aliens, they make so many signs of brightness in the sky to deceive the people, the Lord has revealed to me all that concerns these demons, the cases of people abducted by the aliens, lies, these people are not abducted, they are possessed and disappear to places far away where no one can find them, and many of these people starve to death by being stuck in isolated place, out there they kill themselves and no one knows that. The police record this case as natural cases of death, this happens to people who admire these demons who pretend to be extraterrestrials, people who become adepts of their teachings, later I and the Lord went up to heaven, we came in a narrow gate and entered, when I entered the gate of heaven, I saw a spiritual world that I have never seen in my life, that place is so beautiful, when I landed in the garden of paradise, I saw that green grasses were alive, I could feel the sea. I saw beautiful trees that glowed with fruit that were shining like a mirror, I saw many trees, I looked and I saw that this place had no end, a city so immense that was built in precious stones, this city had several blocks, and a bit people there, the Lord Jesus asked the angel to show me the reality of the heavenly kingdom, I could hear a chorus of people praising in harmony, I noticed the whole place was echoing God praise and worship the city was filled with melody of heaven, I heard the celestial melody and the voices of the saint of heaven and angels turning to small lights and they flew in one direction, I asked the angel what that was, he said that the praises of God people were going to the celestial temple of the almighty God, then I saw six young people passing by, they were beautiful, I could not tell which man and woman they were but by the mercy of God he allowed me to see their appearances as they were on earth, yet they were young men of twenty years, their bodies were so resplendent. These four young men were walking together. The angel said to me, These are Silas, Timothy, Mary Magdalene and Thomas, Philip, their countenances of happiness could be seen in their faces, I and the angel floated and we travelled to another city in the paradise, I said to the angel, How the sky is so immense. He told me that there have been people there since the creation of the world of many countries, nations and that there is room in the celestial world for all mankind on earth to be accommodate here, this is confirmed in John 14, 2 and 3, in my father's house there are many abodes if it were not so I would have told you, I will prepare for you a place, it is when I go and prepare you a place, I will come again and I will take you to myself so that where I am you will be also. I saw that in the celestial city, despite so much glory the people did not stay in their houses, they ran, others swirled with joy, I saw a crowd of people in white robes walking together to a place. The angel told me that those people are going to the temple to worship God, the angel showed me some brothers of the Bible, I saw Noah, Joshua and Elisha walking together, their garments were beautiful and shining, they were also going to the temple to worship God. I saw more people going to this worship, then I saw two women, they are Rebecca, and forces, they were going to the heavenly temple they were so beautiful, their hair shone, they reflected lights, their hair was so long and beautiful, I saw a heavenly choir praising God between angels and people, I could see the flowers sing a beautiful song, I saw a man from far coming, I asked the angel who he was, and the angel told me it is Gideon. I heard voices in harmony praising God, there in the kingdom of heaven I walked floating, I felt a peace that I never felt before, the abounding joy that I felt there I never felt it in my life, an extreme happiness took over my soul which was filled raptures of delight that were infinite, I never stopped laughing in that place, at that moment I did not remember the earth and my earthly life nor my parents, for I was so wrapped in the glory of God. I began to look at the varieties of flowers that bloom on forever. 
the leaves of the trees that were evergreen, I saw perfume coming out of those flowers and I had never felt a fragrance of that smell, I praise God, O Lord as his glory is ineffable, his flowers are magnificent beyond description, his wonders are immeasurable, O my God, how magnificent everything is, I was ecstatic with so much joy in my soul, I said to the angel, I wanted to see Jeremiah. The angel took me to another place, I saw a man whose face was shining of joy and this was the only one that was allowed to speak to me, I asked Jeremiah, what is it like to live in eternity in this place? Jeremiah smiling said that there is no persecution of the earth, there is no affliction of the earth that can surpass the happiness here, then I went to a place where the river of life passes, it was infinite and it passed in several celestial cities, I could touch that water, I felt a refreshing feeling all over my body, every time I touched the river of life, I could feel the life of this crystal river flooding my soul with abounding energy and fullness of life. The angel said, this is the river of life that has its source from the throne of God, then the angel showed me this river of the water of life, as clear as crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb, down the middle of the main street of the city, on either side of the river stood a tree of life. I saw how the fish in the crystal river were praising God, all nature and every living thing had life in the heavenly world, and sang for the glory of God, I saw a man in white robes. His name was Janet Amedu Ards. He dedicated his life for winning souls, I saw men who had been evangelists and missionaries, each received his awards according to their efforts, those who were martyred to death for the gospel received great rewards, the greater the effort for the gospel, the greater the rewards. The people who accepted salvation at the hour of death were welcomed in heaven but they had no reward, they had no house they live in the outer court of heaven, there is no house in the cities of heaven for those who did not work for the kingdom of God, they just succeeded in being saved and they escape fire, they were cities for men who were servant of God and who dedicated their lives to the work of God while they were on earth. The angel took me into a room and showed me the book of the revelation of mysteries. He told me that they are mysteries of God that will be revealed to those who would be rapture when the archangel sound the trumpet. The angel said, when the mysteries of this book is opened in the aftermath of rapture and during the Lamb Supper, many of saints that could not find some answers in the Bible will be explained the mystery of God and creation for all the secret will be revealed, they are things that theologian with their carnal minds cannot explain man's mind cannot explain the inexplicable mystery of God, human wisdom is limited and cannot reason God's things, 1 Corinthians 1 25 because the foolishness of God is wiser than men's, and the weakness of God is more stronger than men, only he who wishes to reveal his mysteries, Matthew 11 25 that time Jesus declared, I praise you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and learned, and revealed them to little children, for we know in part and we prophesy in part, but when the time of perfection comes these partial things passes away. The angel told me that everything in that book of revelations was not in the Bible because it was a hidden mystery, but what revolved around the word of God is completing all the biblical scripture as a puzzle that must be assembled to find an answer. The angel said that God is always faithful to his word, any supernatural experience and spiritual phenomena will always obey the word without hurting it, only the diabolical supernatural experiences that wound biblical principles. The angel took me into a breathtaking building in the heavenly world, and he showed me golden goblet and glasses of gold, that were containing anointing oils, I was told that every oil had a specific function and it was meant for every specific servant that was on earth, we were in this structure in heaven, when the angel showed me the deployment and the release of the anointing of oil on the earth, I saw an angel pouring oil on the head of a brother on the earth, an angel by my side said that it is the oil of sanctification, this oil is poured out to give strength to the servants to walk in holiness that anointing is for those who live a pure and straight life before God, I saw another angel spilling another kind of oil on a Christian on the earth, as a result I saw a dirty water coming out of that brother, I asked the angel about the meaning of this, he said, it is the anointing of the purification, it is for those who are attached to some sin and are praying for God to deliver them from their sins, 
I saw when the angel poured out the prophetic anointing on another brother and he began to prophesy, then I saw the anointing oil of protection being poured onto the head of a drunken person who was not converted. The angel told me that God does not want demons to kill this man therefore he must be anointed with oil of protection, for God has a great work to fulfill in his life. I saw angels pouring anointing of leadership on pastors, bishops, evangelists and teachers. The angel told me, when God commands his servants to be anointed, his ministries are fulfilled. The angel told me that God is still pouring his anointings on ministers and servants that are serving him in disobedience, God by his mercy is allowing many ministries and minister that he has rejected to stand, because of the sincerity of the hearts of many of his children who come to these ministry, God care for the souls that are coming to these churches despite the condition of their pastor that he had already rejected. The angel warned me that many ministries of the flesh that open with human purposes God would not tolerate it for long. I asked the angel, why are these ministries still standing if they did not please God? The angel said, God has already turned his back on these leaders and that if these ministries were standing it's because God has a purpose which is to save many souls in these churches. I understood that Jesus' purpose is to save souls without looking at names of denominations. I looked at the earth and I saw an angel pouring oil on a boy who was drugged, as a result I saw black smoke coming out of him. The angel told me that this is the anointing of liberation, the demons that oppressed that body had to leave. I looked and saw the pastor making the appeal to this boy to accept Jesus Christ in his heart, when he accepted the Lord in his heart, I saw the angel pouring a red oil on the head of the boy, I saw another angel with a golden book in his hand he was writing note. The angel said, the newly converted boy has received a drop of the blood of Jesus Christ on his head, his soul has just received the salvation, he is anointed by the grace of Jesus, his name is written in the book of life, in a meeting on earth, I saw angels pouring anointing of healing, and people were being healed of cancer, and others received inner healing, I saw black spots coming out of the hearts of those people, the angel said that those people were being freed from sorrows and resentments, I saw dark shadows coming out from within the heads of the people, the angel said that these people were being healed of the depression, I saw the anointing of wisdom, people receiving anointing of the renewal and their strength renewed, I saw angels spilling anointings preparing people for spiritual warfare, these are the anointings of spiritual overlaying, I saw people receiving anointings of love, I saw when pouring that oil, a white ball entered into each heart, I saw people receiving the anointing of joy, they were happy and began to worship God, I saw angels pouring anointings of praise, those people began to praise when they received that anointing, I saw souls weeping and giving their lives to God through the anointing, I saw when another angel poured an anointing on the head of a couple, that anointing was restoring that marriage. I saw angels pouring anointing of forgiveness on the heads of people who were rebellious, and they had repented in receiving these anointings, I saw their sins being forgiven, an angel erased their iniquity from that book, I saw angels pouring oil on the heads of those who helped the work of God financially, the oil caused breakthrough and financial blessing in their lives, I saw an angel pour an anointing on the head of a pastor of a church. I saw the pastor preaching and his words came out like balls of fire and destroyed chains and bondage that were on the people, people were freed and left their sins, I saw people having their feet anointed and others their hands, I asked the angel of what was involved, he told me, many are being prepared to do good works and to work in the harvest, then we left this stupendous building where the anointing of oil was stored, when we went out into the holy city, Jesus Christ himself joined me. The angel left us and went away, I looked into his eyes, out of his gaze came love, that look penetrated my soul, enveloped my interior and my life, I had no words to thank for all that love, I was baffled, tears of gratitude fell from mine eyes, I said, thou art marvelous and king of all glory, I thank thee for all, merciful, prince of peace, I will celebrate his name while I live my king, great is the Lord is worthy of all glory. I will praise thee forever beloved of my soul, I can see his glory is the majesty. 
He is so real and so wonderful, I saw that he is just, judges according to our choices, he is God who will go against sin and punishes everyone who practices the crimes that hurt his justice, but he is a God of love, his love is infinite, I saw the expression of his love, we left that place and went near the temple of God, and he told me, my father and I dwell in this temple, I said, can I see the father? He said, you cannot, at the right moment you see, at the wedding of the lamb you will see his face, when we enter the heavenly temple, I saw innumerable saint of heaven, myriad of angels and thousands on their knee, they were all worshipping God inside that immense white and shining temple, I saw that his face shone as the sun, and all the soul that were the worshipped, but could not see his face. The anointing that emanated from that throne was tremendous, I could not get very close to that throne, everyone worshipped in long distance. His power and his glory filled all that temple, the Lord Jesus took me close to a city that no one lived in, this city was marvelous, had entrance doors, Jesus said, this is the new Jerusalem that will be inaugurated soon, all those who live with me and many who are on earth will live and hear, that city was gigantic its streets had no end, it was the most beautiful and shining city, I had seen other cities in paradise that people lived, but that deserted city was the most beautiful of all, the Lord Jesus said, tell my people to prepare, very soon we will live here, the Lord showed me from the earth on a screen, I saw a particular church, the people of that church were with their hands deprived, their fingers were reformed, on the screen I saw a poor place appearing, in this place I saw people dying of hunger and their souls descending to hell, I also saw men of suits standing in another vision, then I saw churches locked with padlocks, the Lord told me that in many churches the people got their hands withered, because they were not helping and supporting their ministries, and the result was disastrous, those locked churches mean that many churches that have a commitment to God word were closing because they did not have the money to pay the rent people are starving to death and dying because churches were not helping, many souls were dying and going to hell because of the lack of missionaries, who were not sent to these dying and starving people, because of the money, Jesus said, the men in suits are the missionaries who are unable to travel and do missions work, because of lack of money and lack of support from the church, the Lord said he who has love for souls will surely help financially God works, but many thought that the money was for the shepherd, the work of God is stagnating because of selfishness of the members, the Lord said, the fact that many scandals involved pastors and money, many people no longer believe and many do not give for my work, as consequence my work is as weak in, deteriorating and in decline, then I saw a vision of several churches opening on the left side of the screen, these churches were yellow, on the right side I saw churches that were closing, these churches were red, the Lord gave me the mysteries of the colors, the red ones were those that had the mark of Christ's blood, they were preaching salvation, churches that were on the right side were on the narrow path, the churches that were on the left side were on wide road leading to perdition, they were in yellow color, they have no life they are deads, the Bible say, and I looked, and behold a pale horse, and he that sat upon him had the name of death, and death and the abode of the dead followed him and power was given unto them to slay the fourth part of the earth with the sword, and with hunger, and with the pests of the earth, Jesus say the yellow color of these churches means that they were dead and they needed the red color that means the blood of Christ, the blood is life, the Lord told me, churches that have no commitment to my word is growing because they are preaching and speaking of money and promising blessings in my name, I saw in vision the numbers of red churches dwindling and the number of yellow churches multiplying. I saw devils laughing, but I noticed that the churches that preach truth do not ask for money. But my people in these red churches are unaware that my church is humble, and needs money to spread the gospel in various places, they need to sow finance so that missionaries can be sent to win souls out there, what I understood was that the churches that do not ask for money the people are that do not give, this is lack of awareness. The church that does not promise blessings in exchanges of giving are not raising money for missionary work, because people are failing to understand, only the churches that preach theology of prosperity that were able to raise money and multiply their congregations, the Lord showed me another church on the screen, 
all the people were paralyzed and on wheelchairs, the Lord said that many people were not doing his will, souls were dying without salvation, because the members were not going to win souls, they were only concerned with their worship services, this was the first class of paralytics, they were people whose feet were failing to walk for the gospel, they did not mind souls that are dying, about the second class of paralytics, the Lord showed me a green path and there were a lot of paralytics in that path, but they were not with wheelchairs they were crawling, while other paralytics were lying down, the Lord told me that the green path is the Christian walk, the paralytics who do not move, many who are gathering in churches, are not advancing and growing, they are walking their way, they have been for years in the church, but they do not follow my commandments, the Lord said that no matter how long people are in church, if in their everyday life they are not walking in my precepts they will not be saved, I saw those who crawled but had no strength, the Lord said that he will raise up the weak those who strive, the Lord said that there are many brothers who cannot affirm their steps in the way of truth, many people could not go to church every day for lack of spiritual strength, it is written in Isaiah 21 they prepare a table, they lay out a carpet, they eat, they drink, rise up, O princes, oil the shields. For this is what the Lord says to me, go, post a lookout to report what he sees, Hebrews 12 12, therefore lift up your weary hands and staggering knees, then the Lord Jesus said, son is time to go, I replied, no, I do not want to go back and suffer on earth, when I said this I saw my spirit going down at high speed, when I realized I was lying in my room, it was already three in the morning, my parents were sleeping in the other room, I'm closing this recording, I mean for all who hear at that moment to be warning the greatest number of brothers about the revelations that were passed to the church, that all be in the peace of the Lord.